In this video I'm going to show you some of the settings uh, that are available in cabinet solutions as far as end panels go. So I'm just going to draw a 100 inch north wall and a 100 inch west wall. And I'm going to place a single base cabinet in the middle of the north wall. Then I'll click the cabinet to go to its elevation click it again to go to the cabinet editor which is a tool that lets us customize an individual cabinet and you can see here in this view that this particular cabinet has a finished left end and a finished right end okay now I'm gonna move the cabinet and place it in the corner I'm gonna overlap the corner a little bit before I click and when I click the cabinet snaps into place and because I overlapped I'm, I'm sure that there's no gap there between the cabinet and the wall. Now I'm going to click the cabinet again, go to elevations, click it again to go to the cabinet editor. Now the, ca the same cabinet has an unfinished end on the left and a finished end on the right. Because the cabinet was touching the left wall the program automatically changed the left side of the cabinet to an unfinished end. I'm going to click done and place another cabinet next to this cabinet. Uh, I'm going to grab another base, place it right there. Now I'm going to click the cabinet, go to elevations, and I'll click uh, the first cabinet again. Uh, what I dis just did there a second ago, I unchecked display doors, then I checked it back. You can choose to to remove the doors if you want to see what's inside the cabinet by hitting this checkbox by unchecking this checkbox. So I'll put it back to where it was. Okay, now this cabinet's right side is unfinished because there's a cabinet on the touching the right side of this cabinet. If I want to override the program and say I want this side to be finished, I can go to ends and then I've got my left and right end in this dialog box. I can go from set end type automatically to set end type to specify type. Then I can choose what type of end I want for that side. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my 3D view and the say you wanted to change the right side of that the cabinet on the right to a raised panel so you'd go to go to the elevation for that cabinet click it go to ends and you wanna check plant on in this case for the right then I'll go to plant on properties and I can choose the method replace side panel with door place skin onto side panel or plant door onto side panel. I'll just replace the side panel with door then I'll go to define and uh, I can choose from one of the six five piece uh, doors or the uh, slab door with vertical or horizontal grain direction. I'll just go with the one that I have selected here with an arch top rail. If I go to other standards then I can define the frame and panel thickness and the style and rail widths. I'm again going to go with the defaults here even though you can set it to whatever you want. Uh, these settings here for panel style you got glass, raised, recessed, frame only with no panels, one piece recessed back. Same settings you have with uh, a door a door panel. So I'm going to accept that, then we'll look at our 3D again. Now I've got a raised panel side. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is how to drop the sides on a refrigerator, drop the ends on a refrigerator cabinet. So I'll just select a refrigerator cabinet here, place it on the floor plan, click it, and then go to elevation, and say we want to drop these ends we're going to click the cabinet, go to ends, 
and right now we're in face frame so it says send style and end to the floor for the left send style and end to the floor to the right those settings are still there in frameless except you won't be setting a style to the floor you'll just be setting the ends to the floor so I'll accept done 3D there we have our end sent to the floor there's some other settings for end panels in the standards let's, let's take a look adjust job standards construction methods too I've got side panel construction for uppers and for bases uh, there's unfinished end panel sit on bottom and whenever I click one of these options I get an illustration here it shows me what the program means by these different settings I'm just gonna keep the defaults if I go to material type cabinet materials I can set the tell the program to use a, a particular material in this case red oak plywood when there's a finished end melamine one-sided when there's an unfinished end and depending on how I have the cabinet placed and what the, and what the side is touching if anything at all it'll pick between one of those two unless I override it okay, I'll accept if I go to material thickness then I can set the thicknesses of different materials finished ends and unfinished ends can have a different thickness and those are pretty much your settings for end panels in cabinet solutions if you have any questions call 574-968-8142 or 800-283-9577 you can also send an email to support at customcabinetsoftware.com thanks